Nay, may I not do what I want with my own money? But here lies the ground of your mistake. It's not your own, and cannot be, unless you are Lord of Heaven and Earth. Few people in history have been as selfless in advancing the gospel of Christ as John Wesley. Wesley was born in England in 1703, the 15th of 19 children. His father was a preacher and his mother a writer who homeschooled the family, teaching them Latin and Greek. Wesley grew to be a brilliant scholar. He attended and later taught at the University of Oxford. While studying there, he was intrigued by a huge building looming near the campus. The building was called the castle, but was, in fact, a debtor's prison. Wesley learned that many who were incarcerated there owed just a few pounds. Though he had little, John Wesley was determined to buy freedom for the debtors. He enlisted the help of his brother Charles and a group called the Holy Club. The Wesley brothers had formed the Holy Club for the diligent and rigorous study of Scripture. Now, they would put the teachings of Christ into action, taking on the debt owed by countless prisoners. Along with his money, Wesley gave of his abilities. He wrote small tracts for those too poor to afford books and sold them for mere pennies. The tracts were so popular, Wesley became rich. Despite this, Wesley's lifestyle remained the same, even as his yearning to reach those outside the church grew. So began his unusual practice of preaching outdoors. The crowds he drew became so large, he once delivered a sermon while standing on top of his father's tombstone so that the audience could hear him. Wesley's notoriety did not alter his steadfast desire for holiness of heart and life. He spent each day in systematic study of Scripture, often reading the Bible on horseback. The Methodist movement he founded remains to this day, named for the methodical way Wesley practiced his faith. Wesley died at the age of 88 and left an enduring legacy. He had traveled over 25,000 miles to preach over 50,000 sermons. He wrote 233 books and penned hymns still sung today. The wealth he earned was spent on others, and he died with just a few coins in his pocket and dresser drawers. John Wesley, he lived the generous life.